The idea that a major network wanted to do a story about the most tragic event in American history surprised me. Path of 9-11 goes back and re-examines the failures in the lead up to 9-11, the opportunities that we had to stop it. What makes this so special, this case, so fascinating, is that the people that made this movie, the many executives and many people behind this, consider themselves very left. And we're so proud to be able to do this. I mean, I remember hearing conversations of people going, man, we're gonna really hear it from the Bush administration on this. We're really, you know, they're gonna, they're gonna really freak out. And, but this needs to be told. It'll be considered kind of the definitive work about this tragedy. And I think that was the intent. They saw it as a threat, and it exposed sort of a lot of hot button truths. Osama bin Laden is alive today because President Clinton, uh, Sandy Berger, and Richard Clark refused to kill him when they had the opportunity to do so. Wolf, more controversy tonight. Letters from Bill Clinton's office, his former national security advisor and former secretary of state, calling for the ABC movie to be canceled. No indication that will happen, but the fallout still at critical mass. I think they wanted to deflect and diminish the power of this movie any way that they could. And they said, you know what? We're going to destroy it. We're going to destroy it. And we're going to destroy the people involved with it. Between the writer and the director and their own special interests, is, can you characterize Path to 9-11 as, as, as a uh, stealth attack in the culture wars? I was shocked by the degree to which the media can distort and defame and um, destroy. What, what has happened to Path to 9-11 is the most uh, significant act of censorship. In, in, in the history of media in this country. Yes, they should pull it. Harry Reid and those senators did it was to try and censor this movie in true Stalinist fashion. The people who were campaigning hardest against it have never seen it. I've not seen, uh, been provided with a copy of it. I haven't seen it. I have not seen it. No, I haven't seen it. No, I have not seen it. I have not been consulted. I haven't talked to anyone about it. I mean, can you imagine if five Republican lawmakers had made that kind of threat. Well, I didn't know that you could censor, have censorship in the United States of America. This is part of a coordinated effort by the Clintons to cleanse history. It is not for these people to try to censor us. That is a chilling event, what happened on the path to 9-11. And that was the tragedy. And these people were trying to write. They weren't looking to make money. They weren't looking to get sponsorship. Uh, they were looking to do a service for the American people. You mustn't let them think ever, ever, that they've silenced us. The intentions were so honorable. When you have no internal doubts, because you know you've done the best job you can do, because you know the real story behind all this stuff, which was no conspiracy, was simply, simply to do a service to those who died, to this country, to our history, to Americans, not politicians, to tell a story that's their story because they own it. It's their blood. When you have no internal doubts, it's easy to stand your ground. Everybody associated with the film knows it. We had it right.